All right, g'day guys, Smitty here. Wanted to make a video for a while now called How to Warm Up. This is how to warm up for training. It's uh, a common question when people come train here at the gym. Often with where I'm at now with coaching, I like to be able to just tell people to do their own warm up, but I understand that everyone knows how to warm up and to warm up how I want them to warm up. So this isn't going to be about the exact, exact exercises you need to do. This isn't going to be individualized because it can't be. The point of this video is to give you principles on how to warm up, or how I warm up. I'll just share how I warm up and the way that I look at it. And then you can use this to your advantage and start putting it into practice. How exciting. So I've written use. I've written use here, okay? Uh, so this is an acronym and we're going to go through these three things. So first off, U stands for undo. I'm gonna put here five to 10 minutes. Okay, so undo means you're going to undo what your body has been through for the last 12 to 24 hours. Short term, what's your body been through? So for example, if, you have, if you're training in the morning, you're here at 6 a.m., you've been laying down for eight hours roughly, you need to move. The answer is you have to move. To undo, you've been laying down, your body's been in the one position or similar positions for many hours, you're gonna come into the gym and you need to start moving. So that could be, there's a million exercises, but you could just start pushing a sled, you get straight into some rollovers, straight into some rotation, straight into some star jumps. If your gym has a treadmill or bike, it's honestly guys, it's just anything, but kind of full body, right? You don't wanna come in and just do curls or push downs. You wanna start moving the torso, stuff like that. If you're training in the afternoon, like let's say late afternoon, four or five o'clock, if you've worked all day, have you worked at a desk like this? You're gonna to need to come in and you need to open up. You might do some ring rows, some banded pull-aparts. Uh, your hip flexors might be sore from sitting or from driving. You need to get into a couch stretch. You might wanna get a lacrosse ball into the hips. You're gonna undo what you've been through for the last 20, 12 to 24 hours. That's what undo is. If you've had a massively physical day, guys and girls that are laboring and doing whatever physical stuff people do, you might need to come in, put some headphones in and chill out in the sun for five minutes and just breathe, jump into a couch stretch, still grab, grab a lacrosse ball or have your pre-workout. You might need to chill. Maybe you've been in traffic for 30 minutes. Maybe you're a bit upset. <laughs> Maybe you're a bit angry. Maybe you're a bit something. What do you need to do for just five to 10 minutes to undo or slowly reverse what you've been through, okay? So that's the way I would look at it when you first get to gym, what do you need to do, okay? To get yourself in the headspace, to get yourself, in, you're at the gym, you're here to train, you gotta get your body ready, five to 10 minutes to undo. Pretty self-explanatory, I think, but you can see how it's different for everyone. I can't say, hey, when you first get to gym, you need to spend five or 10 minutes laying down on the ground like Michelle's doing right now over there. Because if you've been laying down for eight hours, it's the last thing you need to do, okay? If I say you need to come in and get the heart rate up, that could be good for some people, might be the opposite, opposite for someone that's already angry and their heart rate's up and they're upset and the traffic has driven them bonkers, all right? You might need to come in and chill. So when you first get in, and it might change every day, guys. You might have different, this is why your warm-ups are personalized. I can't write out a, a, a 20 minute warm-up for you and say that this is the perfect warm-up for you every single day. So that's why we're teaching principles, Anyway, let's move on to C. C stands for connect. So connect would be, uh, some people might call this activations, but connect could be uh, some glute activation, people might call it, or lat activation. So now we're actually using the muscles, we're doing some exercises. Maybe you're doing log press today, so you need to wake up the, the glutes and the core, so you start doing some hanging, strict leg raises, maybe start doing some curls or some shrugs. The reason I'm not just calling it activation is because connect means the session is starting and you're grabbing the dumbbells with the intent to do something, which means connect to your muscles, okay? So this might be new to some people, but when I grab out the log, if there's other people in the gym and there's music on and people are talking and have a good time, once my hands are on the log, the conversations don't matter the day that I've had or what I'm doing tonight doesn't matter. I'm really focused on the log, the muscles used for the log and my intent on the log. What am I focusing on? I'm gonna breathe into my belly. Where's my chin? What are my feet doing? 
all those type of things. So it's kind of connect to your body, not just wake the muscles up, but actually put your mind into the muscles or into your body and start connecting. This could be 10 to 20 minutes. Actually, you know what, it could be five to 20 minutes. It can be quite fast. It just means that while you're getting the equipment out and doing some exercises, that you're conscious of it. C could stand for be conscious. Well, that would start with B. C could start for conscious. I like connect. Okay, my phone memory cut out and I finished the video before I realized. So I'm not sure exactly where it got up to. I was chatting about connecting to your body, connecting to your muscles, waking the muscles up. 10 to 20 minutes, the exact exercises you choose will be dictated by the exercise that you're doing today. It will be di dictated by the, the, the muscles and niggles that you have, not the muscles you have, not the muscles you have, but the niggles that you have, okay? So again, it's personalized. This isn't about the exact exercises, but if you know that um, inactive hamstrings are a problem for you on deadlifts, then it might be one to two different hamstring exercises or glute exercises, not necessarily to wake those muscles up, which is the way we, we uh, what's common when we talk about activation, I'm trying to wake up the glute muscles. What we're trying to do is connect to them and remind the body that they're there and that we want to use them. It's the same as waking up, but it just, the, the purpose of it seems different. Where it's coming from is different. So I'm not sure how far I got into explaining that before the video cut out. Hopefully it's self-explanatory. It's basically for, for, for deadlifts, when I'm connecting to my body and getting ready for deadlifts, I, I wanna make sure that my core is on and that I'm aware of it. So I'll do some exercises that remind me that I have a nice strong core and belly. I might do some deadlifts, but I might do some rows and I might do some stiff leggeds or hamstrings or some half reps, some dimmel deadlifts to wake up my glutes. Steve and I go to say it. Okay, so connecting means off your phone, not talking to people too much while you're doing things. You can talk to people once the bar's down, but it, it just means putting your mind into the body, putting your mind into gym, putting your mind into training. I hope that makes sense. Hopefully I've explained it enough. Stupid phone cut out. I explained it real well the first time, I promise. I've rubbed out the E accidentally. E stands for excite. Now Michelle and I, Michelle who's here, we're both pretty sure that excite has a C in it. So hopefully I'm not embarrassing myself. Are we still confident? You could Google it for me while you're here. Pretty sure, anyway. Excite means ramping up the nervous system, okay? We've come in, we've loosened up and connected to our body. We've woken up the muscles or reconnected to those muscles that we want to use for today's training. Now we need to get the nervous system ready for some heavy shit. Phone ran out of storage again. We are absolutely on fire today. So I was saying E stands for excite and we're talking about the nervous system. I think that's where I was up to. Sorry if I repeat myself, guys. Don't know where I'm at. So we've connected to the body, we've woken up the muscles, we've let the body know what we want it to do and what muscles we want firing. Excite means basically just building up in weight. That's right, I was saying this is for strength training. If you're going to do bodybuilding training, undo is important and connecting is even more important. But exciting the nervous system and getting ready for heavy shit, meh, whatever. Maybe it's important for you. So an example of excite would be my workout today. All right, I'm doing 240 kilos for three sets of three. When I get to my first set or my top set, guys, I don't really wanna be thinking too much. I don't wanna be thinking of my trunk. I don't wanna be thinking of my traps and lats and quads. I really just wanna be excited. I want the body to be ready to go, okay? So excite just means building up in weight. That's one way you can look at it and everyone does this already. So let me get rid of that. Sorry, I'm not happy with where I put that. Excite just means building in weight. So same thing, it's about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. It means slowly adding weight to the bar. So slow, if I'm deadlifting today, which I am, slowly adding weight to the bar. And as I'm doing each set, I'm still thinking. I'm, I'm reminding myself that when I'm deadlifting today, what do I want to get better at? Is it my breathing and bracing that I need to be focusing on it during these sets? Is it my lockout? Is it squeezing? Is it my balance, footwork, knees, lats? Today it's going to be my uh, straps. I'm not happy with how I've been using my straps. So I'm getting ready and exciting the nervous system by thinking and putting my focus and trying really, really hard as the sets get heavier. So that when I get to my top set of 240, I like it better down here. Guys, when I get to here, the warm up's done. This is how to warm up. I need it to be done by the time I get here. I'm, now I'm not gonna hurt myself because I've 
warmed up, the muscles are ready, and I don't have to think too much. So a big part when we get to our top sets, we don't want to be thinking too much. You, whatever you're working on today, whatever your cues are that you know is going to help you progress, that's, you just want to think about that one thing. Breathing and bracing. Maybe it's bracing and squeezing. Whatever you need to do, the warm-up's over by the time you get to here, okay? So this excite really just means slowly building up in weight, adding weight to the bar, and trying to think less. Exciting the body and the mind's doing less. It's kind of inverse of before, when we're trying to think, not think lots, but connect lots to inside the body. So by the time we get to here, we're connected and you don't have to think. Nothing worse than you're going for a max log press and you've got six things going through your mind about what to do, as well as what to have for dinner, okay? By the time you get to your top set, one thing, you should just be thinking of one thing, and that might change every session or every week or whatever, but you don't wanna be thinking too much by the time you get to your top set. Try this warm up, try this system out, or this, what would you call it? Principles, try these principles out. Um, if you just remember use, use, U-C-E, you can walk into the gym and just remember that you're there to do what's best for you and the state that your body is in today. You don't have to copy anyone else or anything like that. Find what works for you. Stick with it until it stops working and just use your coach or use me or use the internet to give you ideas and examples, but then try and fit it in to this. All right, we got there. Fuck. <laughs>